For 51 years, the Aggie Gym has been the home of champions. Multiple cases showcase the athletic achievements of past Aggies. However, at over half a century old, the facility was in need of some upgrades to bring it up to date with the 21st century. Director of Sports Information Craig Martin talks about a few of the upgrades done. Well, we did a lot at Aggie Gym over really the course of the last 12 months. We're still in progress, you know, a couple year project. Um, we just wanted to make Aggie Gym, you know, bring it up to um, you know, a level that can compete with some of the bigger arenas in uh, the Lone Star Conference. So we added uh, air conditioning and heat uh, system throughout the gym, which it's a 50-year-old, now 51-year-old facility. It didn't have any of that before, so that's a nice uh, amenity to have in there. So we added heat and AC. Um, we also added brighter lights. Um, Aggie Gym has always been known as kind of a dimmer facility. Um, so we added the brighter lights. The lights over the seats are about the same. The lights over the floor are five times brighter than the lights we had before. Besides the addition of heating and air conditioning and new lights, new door frames, fresh paint on the stairs, and banners commemorating past sports championships were also added. However, the biggest upgrade could have been the most important. The biggest project, we got a brand new floor. Um, the floor hadn't been uh, replaced since it was built in 1956, I believe, 1957. Um, it had never been uh, replaced, it had just been refinished. So over that amount of time, the floor had just gotten you know, razor thin, it wasn't really good anymore. So that was our biggest project, it was a brand new floor. Um, and that was a new paint job. We, you know, the, the lanes underneath the basketball were painted, we've got new logos everywhere. Low attendance has been a problem that has faced Eggy Gym in the past. Will all the upgrades help bring more fans into the stands? I think that'll definitely have people come out. You know, that'll help increase atten attendance numbers. I think though that the new floor and the new lights that's going to help bring uh, more recruits to campus. Want to play in a better gym, a more elite gym. So then when we uh, have the better recruits, we play better, the team does better, and you know more stands. So I think it definitely will help out uh, bringing in fans and new recruits. Martin's theory will get put to the test as the Aggies volleyball team opens the home season on September 18th against Southwest Oklahoma State. For CU News Minute, I'm Kyle Luters.